Hello everybody, we're going to get started here in a second. I wanted to go ahead and ease us all in. Um, during the last gameplay for Lake, on um, the last stream, we um, garnered a relationship with the video store person and um, it went really well. We had a great date and um, I think it's interesting that I think in this game you can develop relationships with others and that will take you on a totally different route. So um, without further ado, we're going to get started and just really sit back and enjoy the gameplay. See ya. I like this job, but nothing beats winning a bet against the odds. Hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment pack. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. answer.
Hey, you. Hi. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touché. So anyway, what's on your mind? Taking stock of the store? Or of your life? <sighs> yeah, I, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. Wow, is business that bad? Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? About your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. lighter than I thought. Nope. No answer.
All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. There you go. Ooh, interesting. Okay, package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh, man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, 
Sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. I didn't bring the package. Nope, no answer.
come up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ah, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. That sounds great. I'll be... Cindy Lauper. Well, 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 let us realize All that a change can only come Oh, yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. <laughs>
Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Uh... Okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanting to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on, let's do this. Okay, folks, hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Gotta rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. All right. Here we go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right. But where is Frank now? Frank is not here. But I'm a little worried about him. Where is he if he's not here? Somewhere else. Have a nice day, Miss Weiss. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Contribution is from Matt Turney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake. Wait, where's the package? I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Hmm. 
I guess I expected more from them. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. Here's your mail. What's this? The flick shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your flick shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm, these look like bills. Interesting.
answer. Maureen? P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't lie to yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Actually, I helped out a bit when he was recording it at Jack's studio. Is that right? Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? That's not exactly how he put it, and neither should you. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent, or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to.
Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Frank's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. God mail? No? Then why are you still here?
remember, if there's anything wrong with the goose, I can fix it. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith. It's not that bad. You're just jealous. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Had a few drinks here as well. Nice. It's good to hear that you're enjoying yourself. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. Can buy it and settle down here for good. Awesome! I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, you want to extend your stay in Providence, oh? Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now, hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. Hi, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Memories, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Wow, yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. So, 
You guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell yeah. Can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I hate to be a square, but sometimes I think a little authority is useful. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Whiskey? Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. Memories. 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 Of you. And. And me. Memories. All righty. Here you go. So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. How are you guys gonna cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Memories. I'm working, Miss Weiss. So are you. All right, everyone, I wanted to say that um, thank you for coming through to the stream. I appreciate it. Um, we will be picking this up tomorrow, um, tomorrow night. I'm hoping to get on a little bit earlier so that we can uh, we can run through the rest of the next day. So we did two days today of, um, of mail delivery, and I haven't seen Angie in a while. Kind of concerned, so... 